six easy ways to make money with your cell phone, right? You out here broken in the mud because you are not using this right. You feel me? I'm about to show you how to use it. So tune in, right? All right. First things first, right? It's a few things that I've done. They generate some decent money, right? You know, I, I like working with my hands. That's why I chose to do um, the profession that I'm in. I do home improvement. So, but one of the things I started out doing that I did pretty good on and still make money off of this, these designs to this day, like seriously, still making money off of these designs and I designed a shirt like had to be like seven, eight years ago. So the first thing you could do, right, to make money with this thing right here, you can go onto a website called Teespring, right? It is a print on demand shirt company, okay? You don't have to go out because I'm showing you how to get it out the mud, right? With little money, little to no money out your pocket, right? I'm going to show you how to get it out the mud, right? You don't have to go out buy $100, $200, $300 t-shirt press. You don't have to go out and buy hundreds of dollars of transfer paper. Nah, right? Starting out. Starting out, eventually you can move on to that. If that's something that this stuff, if this pop off for you, right, and it's something you want to keep going with, then you could start going out buying you t shirt presses, buying your shirts and wholesales and stuff, and then starting to supply yourself. But in the meantime, you go to teespring.com, right? Once you go to teespring.com, you set up your own account, and I'm gonna put referral links to all of these in the comments, all right? Um, you go there, you set up your account. And then you start making your designs, right? Now, you can't just like just make any random things. You got to actually do your research. So I, I suggest doing a niche. That's what worked for me. You know, you can make um, like if you're in a fraternity, you can make fraternity shirts. Um, if you're a nurse, you can make shirts geared towards nurses. You can make shirts geared towards firefighters. You know, you have to niche it down to make people want to pull that trigger. Because if you're just making random shirts, nobody's going to want to buy it. You know, it's not a name behind it like that. So we have to, and these, these are the things that I had to learn the hard way, right? Okay. So, um, you niche it down, right? So you're like, well, I don't have no design. No, no, I don't know how to design this stuff. I ain't computer savvy. How do I do it, DJ? So I'm about to give you the recipe, all right? So how you do it is, boom, right? There's a few ways that you can start generating your um your designs for your shirt. So you can go to a website called Fiverr. That's f i v e r r dot com, right? Ooh. I'm cooking up tonight, man. I'm giving it to y'all. I'm giving you all my secrets, man. This is this is the secrets that have made me hundreds of thousands of dollars. You know what I'm saying? So you go to a website called Fiverr. You find you a designer. You can go through. Now, the reason this website is called Fiverr because a lot of the services, they start off at $5. You know what I'm saying? Zero to no money up front out your pocket. We're going to be cooking up and getting you some bread. Do you feel me, all right? So, once you're on Fiverr, you find you some designs that you like. And remember, like I said, you got to niche down. You got to niche all the way down. I'm talking like, ooh, firefighters. It's uh, it's good looking firefighter today shirt. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, you can do an Omega uh, shirt with the Q throwing up, just the silhouette of a Q throwing a hook up. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. It's so many ways you can make money out here. And you don't have to use a lot of money to get it started, right? So that was the t-shirt, right? And I gave y'all the website on how to get your shirts out here and market it, your shirts and stuff. Oh, and Teespring, right? Boom, once you put your shirt design up, I'm gonna show all this on the actual video and stuff. But once you put your shirt design up, you can then share a link to the people that's in your circle and like, yo, support me. I got a shirt design business I'm starting. I'm getting out the mud, right? Boom. And then so the way it works is once somebody buys your shirt, they ship it out. You don't have to do nothing. You share the link, that's it. You done designed it, that's it. You share the link, 
put it on the internet and then let it do its do, right? Because if you follow what I done follow, what I done told you, you done niche down, right? You done got your designs, you done, you done bought a few designs off of Fiverr, right? And, and, and what I like about Fiverr, you can tell the designer what you want. You can aim for the niche that you're going for, right? Or if you don't even want to spend money, there's free websites, right? Call Canva. Canva, right? You can design all of your designs for your shirts. If you only want it, if you're a real creative person, go on to Canva. Just do it yourself, man. Save, cut out the middleman. You know, keep all the pros for yourself. You feel me? All right. So that was it. That was that was a banger right there. That's that's the first one I done gave y'all. Right? The first one, how to make money with your hitter. Right? The next one, right? The next way to make money. The next way to make money off your hitter, right? You got to do gig work. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it tickles your fancy. If you a if you a real social person, I suggest doing a ride share. You know, I know cats out here doing Uber, Lyft. They making like three hundred, three fifty dollars, three fifty dollars. Golly, man, they out here making like three hundred, three hundred fifty dollars a day. You know what I'm saying? And if you do the math. If you do the math, if you make it three hundred dollars a day, that's a hundred k. Just off of just ride share, right? You know what I'm saying? So you got that. Listen, if you don't like people in your car, you ain't got to do that. You got Instacart, you got Amazon Flex, you got DoorDash, Uber Eats, uh, Shopped. Let let's say Lyft. It's so many of them, right? But they're called gig apps, right? So, why are you broke? I mean, really, why are you broke? It's up to you to get out here and get the money. It's out here. It's a bunch of it out here. It ain't no shortage for none of us, right? But if you subscribe, you watch, you keep tuning in. I'm giving you the jewels. I'm giving you these gems that's going to help y'all level up, right? I want to see everybody do good out here in these streets, man. You feel me? There's too many people out here just pointing the finger like, oh, man, you know, you got this or you got that or sprinkle, sprinkle, drizzle, drizzle. Like, come on, man. We got to, instead of pointing the finger, how about we give solutions to problems, how about we offer suggestions on how to fix it instead of tearing everything down about one another? You know, I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to be building each other up because if we all build each other up, the further and faster we get to all of our destinations. You know what I'm saying? I heard a quote one day that said, you ain't going to starve curing world hunger. Think about that, right? You're not going to starve curing world hunger. You're going to always be around food. So you don't have to worry about going hungry Hungry if you're trying to solve the problem of hunger. Do you get what I'm saying, right? All right. So we done covered two things so far, right? Two things so far that you can make money right now off of your phone. I'm talking two things right now that you could do to make money off of your phone, right? We're going to get on to the next one, right? The next thing you could do is selling stuff online, right? This is another thing. This is this is huge. You can do cross platform arbitrage. So you go on to like, yeah, people still mess with Craigslist nowadays. People still on Craigslist heavy. Heavy. You know, uh I buy and sell cars every now and then. You know, you can find a stupid deal on marketplace. On Craigslist, you know what I'm saying? This is after, let's say, you know, you didn't did the first two things. You know, started your T-shirt hustle, right? Right? Because you, I mean, do all of these things. Because the more money you got coming in, you got to have multiple streams of income coming in, right? So you know, started the T-shirt business, right? Now you're doing gig work. You're doing, you're doing either DoorDash, Uber Eats, you know, uh, Lyft. You doing shit. You could be doing them all. You know what I'm saying? You get in the bag all these ways, right? And now you start selling stuff online. You got a little bit of money to start making some more money because eventually you're gonna have to reinvest into yourself. You can't just keep all the pros to yourself, nah. I know we want to. It be feeling so good when we get that bag in, but you know you gotta put that money back into the business to make the business bigger and better right 
All right, so so now that you got your little bread in your pocket, right? You start buying stuff online, right? You go to marketplace. You go on marketplace, and, and I'm, I'm I'm about to give y'all some jewels on this, one, right? You go on marketplace, you can find stuff like cars, go karts, uh, power tools, lawn equipment. There's so many things that you can sell that you can make a pretty decent markup on each item, right? And now you're like, well, D. Jared, what if I don't want to meet people? What if I don't want to like have sketchy interactions with people? Uh, well, okay, here's how you fix that, right? If you don't want to go and source your stuff from people, right? There's a place that sells Amazon returns, right? And so on the days that they re up, right? They they they'll start off at like ten dollars an item. Right, and then the next day it'll go down to eight dollars an item, and then the next day it'll go down to six dollars an item. Right, but you want to go on a ten dollar day because this is when all the good stuff is there. Right, all the good stuff. I'm talking. You can find you can find crazy stuff there at these places. Right, I'm crazy stuff. Keyboards for computers that'll be like a hundred bucks. You know, uh, my mice for computer. Uh, uh, they got everything: stoves, refrigerators, washers, dryers, uh, all the any kind of electronics that you can think of. Anything that Amazon sells, they gonna sell it in those spots, right? You take about two, three hundred dollars on the for, on the day that they re up, right? So you you just look up uh, places like Amazon Return Store. And it'll populate. And then you go onto their website and they'll tell you what day that they actually restock the bins. You go in there on those days, you take about two, three hundred dollars, buy you some stuff, make sure you got your Amazon app, right? You gotta keep your hitter. This is your money maker, not the money taker. So many people waste money on their phones. This thing right here should be making you money, not taking your money. Like I make hundreds of thousands of dollars off of this mug right here, right? So you take your phone with you, make sure you got the Amazon app right now the the some places they won't let you open the boxes at all no some places will let you open the boxes um but you have to take it to a desk and they only allow you to open a certain amount of boxes right so uh once you reach a limit i'm gonna give you a hack of how you find the stuff that's in the box most of the Amazon, when you buy stuff, it comes with a barcode and the barcode is on the box. So if you have your Amazon app, you can open up your Amazon app and go into the um, search tab. Once you pull up the search tab, right? Once you pull up your search tab, it gives you the option to search via camera. And it'll look like this, right? It'll look like that. And then once you search for the camera, you scan the barcode, boom, it shows you the item. Now you can go and be like, hey, this thing's $10 and it's selling on Amazon for 50. I know I could sell it for 35, 40 bucks. It's brand new. Oh yeah, and a lot of stuff be brand new. It don't even be open. It'd be brand new stuff, right? So you can easily sell it for 40 bucks, make 30, $40 per item her item so boom Ooh, i'm cooking up tonight i'm giving y'all some sauce tonight right so now how we making money on this hitter y'all let's go through it again let's go through it again we didn't started the t-shirt business right we doing gig work right and now we selling online we are selling online the money is coming in y'all are not understanding how easy it is to get to the bag how easy it is instead of using this to go on facebook and look at mindless content you could be making a bag i don't be on social media to really talk to people for what i'll be on there to make money you feel me social media that made me so much money and i'm not even like a content creator well i am now but before i wasn't no content creator i was getting money off of these platforms man i was selling cars selling items like you don't understand how much money you can make all right case in point right i bought a car for twenty eight hundred dollars right this is a while ago $2,800. The car was only three years old. Three years old. I had to go to Ohio to get it, though, right? Went to Ohio. Went to check it out. If you don't know how to look at cars, 
you know, pay pay a, a mechanic. Like, yo, you know, how much I got to give you to, you know, for like an hour or two of your time to go check something out with me. You know, give him the bread. You're going to make it back, right? So he rolled, he rolls down there with you. You go check out the car. So I went to go check the car out. I looked under the car. I'm like, y'all, ain't nothing wrong with this car. What happened was it was a young girl. Her parents bought her a car for college. She drives, skirt off the road, hits a tree stump, takes it to a, to a few shops. The shops did what the shops going to do. Try to take advantage of the young girl, right? And... They told her, like, yo, you're going to have to get the frames bent, da 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 and it wasn't. So I was like, yo, I told her, I was like, well, you know, I, the shops really told you um, they they kind of misled, misled you. I felt bad for her. I couldn't, like, couldn't do them like that. But she was like, yo, I don't care. You know, I just want to get rid of the car. So I'm a broke college student. I need the money now. So I'm like, all right, bet. So I gave her $2,800. Now, mind you, this is a three-year-old car, 36,000 miles. I get it back home. I, I didn't drive it back. I paid a company called U-Ship to put it on the trailer. They only charged me $175 to get it from Toledo, Ohio, up to my house, right? $175. Dude dropped it off. Door-to-door -door service, right? I just went down there to look at it. Get it back home. L Let me tell y'all. All I had to do was get a wheel alignment and get the exhaust fixed. And then I turned around and sold the car for $7,000. Off of the $2,800 plus my, so let's say, let's say, let's round up to $3,100 with my gas included to go down there, pick up the car, look it over, and to get it back up here. But I sold it for $7,000. I made it three bands, over $3,000. Deals are like that out, out there all the time, right? All the time, you just gotta open your eyes and like, hey, I can actually make money off of this. I can actually, instead of wasting all of my time swiping left, swiping right, or just liking this post, liking that post, or posting you drinking Quavo, you know what I'm saying? Why waste your time? You know, we only got a certain amount of time on this earth. Uh, I, I mean, I, I get you want to enjoy yourself, but, you know, you want to set yourself up for financial freedom in the future. And that's what this is about. Uh, we covered starting a T-shirt business. We covered doing gig work. We covered selling stuff online. Like, these are three things right here, right? Like, if if you just did a few of these things, you could easily make three, four hundred dollars a day. That's over hundred k right there. Now uh, I, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be one hundred percent. I'm gonna be one hundred percent. When you get to hundred k, you know, like this it. I gotta work even more. And you are gonna find yourself you are gonna have to work even harder because the goal posting got pushed. It was like the goal was like oh make a hundred thousand and I'm good right. Well, can if it's just you. If you if it's just you. You can live comfortably. Yeah, you can live comfortably off of 100K nowadays if it's just you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking nice car, nice place type comfortable. I'm not talking about like, uh, yeah, you know, you can you can Raymond Noodle it and shit and <laughs> really ball out. But no, like, you're going to find that once you get to 100K, you're going to have to make more. Plain and simple, shit's so goddamn expensive. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you want to court and and take a woman out on dates and 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 go through and qualifying your ladies to date. You know that's that costs some bread. So you gotta have some money out here in these streets. So make sure y'all follow these tips because I'm giving you some gems out here, man. Y'all see me working. All I ask is for you to click the like and share it. This one a little bit more riskier, right? This one you got to do your research on. This one I advise you not to do offhand, off rip, until you got a little bit more disposable income. Once you done, you done did the stuff that I done taught you how to do where you making three, four, five hundred dollars a day. Yeah, a day. You know what I'm saying? You got a little bit more money to play with. Um, no, it ain't sports bad. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna lose your house doing that shit, man. I lost my kids' college tuition. Nah, man. 
we gonna talk about investing in stocks, stocks and crypto, right? Because now that you're making money, you gotta start thinking about the future. You gotta start thinking about what happens 10, 15 years down the line, right? You gotta start stacking your investments to start working for you because you only get a certain amount of time in your life that you're going to be physically capable of working so you have to use that time to build assets assets not liabilities to build assets to start paying for your you know your lifestyle right and we're gonna cover all of these stuff on here man like i said the title of this show is the how to be a high value man right so the next one like i said is investing in stocks right day trade forget about it don't do it crypto yeah have fun with crypto i say do the crypto over the day trading because day trading well, you you lose your whole shirt in day trading right it's highly volatile so we're gonna go with the slow and steady the s p 500 you can't beat it you can't beat it. Warren Buffett barely matches the S&P 500, man. It's the most way to get. And then, see, here's the thing, right? So, you set up, like, let's say, let's say you make $300 a day. So, you know, 300 let's do some simple math. Let's say you work five days a week, right? We're going to set the bar low. 300 is a low bar. You could do it. You can do it. I know it sounds like a lot, but you could do it, right? So, we're going to do 300 times five. Right? That's fifteen hundred dollars. That's fifteen hundred a week. We're gonna times that by four. That's six bands, six thousand dollars a month, right? We're gonna take a hundred of that six thousand dollars. One hundred, right? We're gonna invest it on a monthly plan to invest in the S and P five hundred. You just keep it. Just put it in there. Especially if you're young. Please do this if you're like 21, 22. I hope it's a bunch of 21, 22-year-old, 25-year-olds. I hope y'all out here watching this and y'all actually do this. Because in 15, 20 years, y'all going to find me and be like, yo, this changed my life. 100. Even if you're a little bit older, you can still do it. But if you're 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, it's going to be hard, man. But if you make it $6,000 a month... Six thousand take home a month. You can afford a hundred dollars a month, right? So we put that hundred dollars in the S and P five hundred, right? We don't take none of the returns we get out. We just gonna keep reinvesting, keep reinvesting. Every time we get a return, we reinvest it, buy more stock with it, and we keep doing that. We keep doing it, and then eventually you gonna be to a point where you can afford more than a hundred dollars. You put that in there. You do that for 15, 20 years, you be straight. You will be straight. You will literally have six figures. And I'm not talking like 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 low six figures. I'm talking like almost to a million type six figures, if not more. I gotta I'ma plug it in. I'm gonna do the math, right? But if you put a hundred dollars in there for 20 years, I, I'm pretty sure it's over two million dollars. Y'all, y'all let me know in the comments. I know I got some financial gurus down there that that do this shit for a full-time living. But you invest in the S&P 500, you buy you some crypto if you want to feel edgy. You know what I'm saying? You can't go wrong with Bitcoin. I mean, you can, you know, because it's volatile every now and then. But for the most part, it's the most stable one. You know what I'm saying? Because I guarantee you, if the, if the people that had their Bitcoin that bought it initially they still got it, they, they don't care if it went down or not because they still win it. Man, it's it's easy to make money out here. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all, right? So the next thing we could do here, right? We didn't we didn't cover making t-shirts. You know what I'm saying? We didn't cover uh doing gig work. We didn't cover selling stuff online, like through Craigslist, uh, Facebook Marketplace. Oh, I didn't even mention eBay. I didn't even mention Amazon. Yes, you can sell stuff on Amazon. Yes, you can sell you stuff on Amazon. Y'all didn't know that, did you? You didn't know that you could. I'm like, I'm, I told you I got ADD or something, right? But so let me backtrack. Let me go back to the selling stuff online. You can sell you stuff on Amazon. I was making a killing selling stuff on Amazon. Now, let me give you a warning. Let me give you a warning. This is why I don't do it no more personally, right? Amazon return policy for the vendors is some bullshit. 
No questions asked for 90 days. They can send it back. So sometimes you get people that take advantage of it. They'll use your product and send it back and you can't sell it as a new product no more. It's the cost of doing business. Now, you can make a lot. If you do your research, you can make a lot selling stuff online. Okay, so let's move on. We did trading apps, right? Where we invest online and, uh, you know, like I said, we're not going to do no risky day trading. We're just going to go slow and steady. We want our 5 to 8% growth, and we're going to invest in the S&P 500. For those of you that don't know, S&P 500 is some of the most solid companies that are collectively in a group. You got companies like uh, Procter & Gamble, Colgate, I believe, are in there and stuff like that. You know, staples that have been around, they're real solid companies. You don't have to worry about they're going anywhere. Every year, they have year-over-year -year growth, right? Those are all in the S&P 500. Do your research, though. So, uh, next thing we're going to do. Next thing, right? I, I know y'all said you be on social media and stuff. Just be a content creator, right? Be a content creator. You're on there all the time. Why not get paid to do it, right? It's, it's, it's not difficult. All it is is just posting a lot of videos. That's the secret. You want the secret to be Instagram famous, Facebook famous, YouTube famous? It's to pump out a shitload of content, right? Pump out a whole bunch of content. So, uh, you can make a good living. I mean, goddamn. They paid Mr. Beast $120 million last year. $120 million. Uh, 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 another uh, blippy. What, buddy made like $80 million. So, you can use social media to make you money instead of take your money, right? So, like I said, it, you have to be dedicated, though. This now, not, now, mind you, I said these were easy things, but you got to put the work in. You got to go out there and actually work for the money. It's not just going to fall in your lap. Now, some of the stuff I did tell you, once you do the work on the front end, you can get paid on the back end because you did all the work up front, like the T-shirts. You get you a solid design. You know, you, you can have one shirt that's making you $1,000 a month. Real talk. You know, if if you got like a shirt that that for every year, like you got like a um a, um a, a St. Patty's Day shirt that that's hitting off every year, you know what I'm saying? That's guaranteed money. It's gonna keep coming. It's evergreen product, right? Like I like I said, I made a shirt. It's still making me money to this day. It's still making me money to this day, and I ain't even touched it. I ain't even marketed it. I ain't did nothing. I just look on there. I log in, and I'm like, God damn, I got money here. So. We cover these things, but you still gotta you guys still gotta do the legwork, right? So the last thing that's on this list is what I'm doing right now: online teaching. You can use your skills if you got a skill that you can develop and you real good. You know how to do hair. You know how to cut hair. You know how to put the man units on, or you know how to uh, do your makeup, or you know how to do nails and stuff. And you call with it, and people are like, "Man, how you do that?" Oh, hey, I got a video. You know what I'm saying? It's it's websites that you can go on to and you can upload a video and it will you put a price on it and you can charge for your course. Just plain and simple. Your knowledge. You done built up all this time gaining all of this expertise, right? Like uh, like if you know how to flip cars. Like if you're doing the stuff that I just... If one of y'all do stuff on uh, on one of the stuff I just mentioned on the list above, right? You, you sell cars. You do good at it. Why not make a course? Why not show people like, hey, I got a master course on how you can make an extra four, five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000 a month just selling the cars in your spare time. I'll show you where to go to find the cars. I'll show you how to clean them up. I'll show you how to sell them. I'll show you how to do the meet and greet. You put all of that into a package for somebody that want to learn how to do it. I guarantee you they'll pay anywhere up to a hundred bucks for it. easy, easy just for that. And it's like a 10, 15 minute course that you can make. And you do, you put all the legwork in up front, right? And then you put it on a website and it'll keep making you money over and over and over again. And that is it.